Hello YouTube, this is Stephen here, and this is Crumble Stud. I'm just going to explain what Crumble Stud stands What is Crumble Stud? Being in the British Rabbit Council, or it's the BRC, but short, the short is British, it is the BRC, but it's actually the British Rabbit Council, being short is the BRC. Um, you pay a fee 12 month, for 12 months to be in the Rabbit Council. It um, qualifies you to show, in, show your rabbits in competitions locally or national around the country and you can entitled to you have a you buy rings a little I'll have to get one to show you one of these a little metal ring what's suitable for what breed of rabbit you're doing with the right size for their body and it has certain numbers on it, it'll have like the size will be a letter, like for Nevis it's X and it'll have what year it is, like now it would be 14 it'll be 14 X BRC well, yeah BRC and then a list of numbers in a line I think it's about Five, five, five numbers on a ring, and that ring is registered to you, to your name or stud name. You can just have your name, but a stud name is a bit more posher. It means you don't go under just Stephen or, or Sarah or something like that. I chose. You have a choice. We don't have a choice of what you be picked. I mean, you can choose what you want to be. And it's there's certain rules of what you can't use. You can't use like street names or towns or famous people. And really, it is quite difficult. And you've only got a limit of 11, 11 letters. They don't class the stud as the list of the 11 letters. And it can't have a space in, bet in between the. Um, you can have the space in between the stud, but whatever you're going to choose. And they don't give you a list of what's been taken. So you've just got to sit there and think what you want to be called. And if you, you have a choice, you put three down you want. And then your top one is the one you want the most. And if that's been taken, you can't use that one. If number two hasn't been, you go to number two. Well, I chose a few quite common ones, so they went, like Azel Stud, um, different sort of flower names of all kinds, and I just sort of decided, Crumble Stud, it, it's, I like it, it's different, it's special to me in a sense, I mean, it's quite sweet, it's, I might say it's not a lad sort of name, but there are some weird names out there in stud names. And concrete stud and vampire stud and things like that. Suits for that type of rabbit they're breeding, naturally. I think vampire stud. I don't know what they breed, so the person does, but it might suit what type of rabbit he uses. And there's lots of different ones, like lots of the jewels and diamonds and things like that. They've been taken. Crumble stud, I just thought apple, it's something to do with apple crumble and you can have veg you can have sweet, savoury crumble. And if people meet you just, you know, I'm quite a cheerful little chap guy. I just just makes so much fun of being crumble stud and it worked. I enjoy my name. People have come up to me and say that's different. Never, really, never thought of that one. I wouldn't have thought of that. And I have a white coat with my name, stud name on. And badges. I'm, I'm collecting a lot of badges at the moment with rabbits on. And I've got one. Some uh, person made me a little badge. 
a rabbit with crumb buster on. And, and being the British Rabbit Council, you can, if you win in the competitions, you get mentioned in the a book called The Fair and Feather. What's, it's nice to be mentioned in something like that where you, your name and your, crump, your stud name will be in there. And you get, there is good, good points and bad points because what they say about your rabbit, you might not agree what they say, and it's, it changes which judge judges them. I mean, which one judge might say this, judge, another judge say that might that's really good, and another one can say it's rubbish. But you just take it from the good and the bad. I mean, I've been in it quite a lot. The books seem to be in it quite often. You don't seem to get in if you're second. You always get it if you're first. I have been this month winning first place in the book. So it it's evens itself out. You don't seem to get in it if you're in pet class. It seems just for people to show rabbits in competition. They do get treated well in these shows, but the judges do look after them, they do treat them right, and, and it's not a bad thing as some people might make out to be. There is a lot of funny goings on in the show, there's, you know, there's favourites of course, who wins and don't win, but that happens to everything. But I enjoy it, it's, it's a hobby for me, and do because I'm a passion for it. The stuff I've won in the 12 months of doing it, it's really good. It makes me proud of my... Because I've never actually won anything at school or anything like that in my life. Because it's just a hard thing to do races and doing the race and stuff. I wasn't very good. But showing the rabbit and stuff like that, I've done well. <coughs> if anyone wants to join, it. This isn't a very dear and to join. It's, it's about for an adult 20. To start off from the beginning, the first year, it's about £30 really because you've got other bits and pieces to sign up for it. Like to have a stud name, it's £25, but that's for life. You don't pay that ever again, the £25 for the stud name. That's, that's for you, they can't take that away from you, the stud name. And that means no one else can use Crumble Stud ever. So, for £25 for life, it's not too bad. And then it's only... This year for me, it was only £12 for 12 months. So, a pound a month, literally. And then, for Fair and Feather magazines, you pay free something a month, but I paid the... 12 months fee, it's about 40 odd pounds for the, month, for the 12 months, the 12 issues, but the last couple of times we've been having double magazines, where it's a different magazine for something else, because it doesn't just do for rabbits, it is for do with other, um, recently it's been doing with guinea pigs and chinchillas and other livestock, as well as the, um, that's the normal fair and fair for rabbits, so it must be two books for things like that. So it is a pretty interesting thing as well. I don't know if it works like this in America, because America is another, another big place what does a lot of showing rabbits. But we do it, so I don't know if it's different in America. But we do it in the UK like this. And I think it is a lot different because I did do some research. It's you have to learn how to sh then take your rabbit to the judge and they judge you on how you bring the rabbit to them. I think if I understand him right, we don't do that in the UK. We just you can go and stew it, or you can go and bring rabbits to the judge. The judge put them in the cage and things. I've done that a few times and that's it is nice doing that, but sometimes you get to know what your rabbit's done. It is nice but sometimes it's nice not to know what you've done until the end of the day or halfway through the day until you go walk around and have a look what they've won. But it's better to go on another table where your rabbit isn't and then just 
it does help you understand what quality of rabbits there is about and the um, temperament with certain rabbits and the way they look is important but there is rules and stuff I don't agree definitely with Nevis with the weight issue for being normally two pound two and a half pound in weight where it's hard to keep them at two pound and a half in weight definitely ones that come from a bigger a bigger family or bigger background in the size of the rabbit but I'm hoping this year to have a lot more smaller rabbits come and breed from my lit from my my stud literally and I think that's possible this year because I've had two little ones born already this year with really tiny well one's really tiny in my essay youth there's a video on that where it's with its mom and its gran. Now a lot of people won't think that's real, it is. My the the mother the grandmother is living with her grandchildren with her mom as well. And they've been fine since day one. And they've lived happily and it's happened the other way around as the the gran had a litter before and the daughter lived with them as well so I don't recommend it for everyone it's just seemed to happen for me and it's if it did ever change then I would move them away from each other or I wouldn't try it again but it worked okay for twice now just hope the third time's lucky again nice to get the um, proving some books wrong and some certain websites wrong and things like that that's because there's a lot of old ways of thinking with, certain, with rabbits and, and there's a lot of new ways of looking to care for rabbits and new ways of thinking from some of the old ways same with a lot of things there's ways what was okay 30 or 40 years ago and it's different these days and it's definitely the same with rabbits there's ways of treating rabbits differently to was that many years ago and a lot of people when they come to us to buy a rabbit they remember rabbits when they was children it was really nasty and they could bite I mean rabbits still bite but they're not as scared of people as they used to be I think it's because it's bred in them not to be scared of people and all my rabbits are not scared of me or my family so the babies are always going to be not wary of people they're always going to like people because they are friendly because they come from both family lines or mum and father and grandfather and great you know that side of the family have always been not handled well and not um, distreated so they're not going to know any different they're always going to be tame if they did then it's just because the rabbits decided not to be friendly to other people they're just a bit scared when they're babies but up to yet my rabbits have always been as friendly as can be I mean, I can handle my rabbits from a day old from the nest. And people would say, that's not right, you shouldn't do that because the parents would eat the babies. But that hasn't happened with me. And a few friends of mine who breed rabbits as well, they've never happened with them. It's just, if you've got trust in your rabbit, you, it will always work out. I don't recommend with a person straight away to have the rabbit a couple of weeks and then just putting the rabbit down to have babies. I don't recommend that at all because the rabbit hasn't had time to adjust to you and you don't know their temp their how, how they react to certain things. With me, I, I have the rabbit for a good bit before I know how they're going to react to having babies and react to me handling them and things like that. But I'm going to leave it off here because it's just getting quite long for the video now so I will
to another one of these about how I come to be Shine Rabbit and how it come to be.